Well, I bet you didn't know that the government wants you to be a farmer. <laughs> That's right. Or actually, even in the food business. I mean, we have grants, loans, all kinds of things. And what they're trying to do, too, is attract you know, non-traditional people to farming, you know, so uh, even like beginning farmers. So now the government will help you even if you never farmed before in your life and you want to do that. So I started, you know, trying to find out about these programs and there's new ones, you know, like here, here's programs now for government loans, guaranteed loans, direct operating loans, ownership loans for all kinds of minorities, women, African-American, Alaska Natives, American Natives, Hispanic, Asian, and Native Hawaiians and Pacific Islanders. But that's just a tip. I mean, if you're not one of those categories, it still doesn't matter. But actually, if you have loans like that from the government and, and you're a minority, they're going to forgive them. They're going to forgive your loans. You know, Many of these people have $200,000 loans and, and they're going to get it forgiven because they're minority trying to farm, trying to raise you know, food for our country. That's what I need. But they're also, you know, money for all kinds of things. You know, uh, they need help in, in getting food to market or marketing food, all kinds of stuff. Like here, here's a, here's a new program. And this is all in Biden's new program. He's got $4 billion, you know, to forgive, uh, the loans. He's got another Six billion dollars here, uh, two hundred million for small family-owned timber and harvesting haulers, whatever that is. Yep, biofuel producers, eight hundred million dollars. So you want to make gas out of potatoes or something? Uh, support for dairy farmers and processors. So you don't have to be a farm; you could be in the middle somewhere. Uh, four hundred million dollars new dairy donation program to address food insecurity and mitigate waste. So that means they'll buy your extra food and give it away, it sounds like. Additional pandemic payments targeted at dairy farmers. I guess they have a problem with this. Uh, the pandemic, $580 million for dairy margin covers, whatever that is. But it's for small and medium farms, <laughs> assistance for poultry and livestock producers, uh, contract growers for poultry. I guess that you make chickens for somebody. Livestock. Uh, pandemic response safety gear. You need that equipment. Or here, the cost to go organic. They'll help you pay for that. So there's a lot of help, you know, for people who want to be in the ag business and, and actually, or just make food at home, you know. And the place to find out about this stuff is your local called the County Cooperative Extension Service, okay? This is an office, you know, it's an old time part of the U.S. Department of Agriculture that helps families uh, grow food, help food, or even home expenses. You know, it's a good place, you know, you, you're worried about the foundation of your house. I mean, see, they help like that, or or even getting out of debt, and things like that. They help with that, it's all free. So that's why you should know about it. How do you find them? Uh, actually, you can go to 211, uh, or here's a map. This is nifa.usda.gov. I'll put the link in the website there. It has a listing of all of them. It's like a, even in Washington, D.C. We got no farms here, but they have. Well, here they are. Look, at three, <laughs> three offices in town, and we have no farms. <laughs> <laughs> They're giving money to somebody in this town doing something. I don't know what it is, but it's also expertise. It's a wonderful uh, source of expertise. If you have a sick pet or, or you're trying to grow a garden or, or plant vegetables, all that kind of stuff. And money for businesses, too because that's what they're there for. And, and their services are for free. Great folks, gotta know they're there. They're not advertising. So I'll do it for them. Somebody's gotta do this.